Hi, it's Christina Joy Lovejoy. I'm back. This time, I'm going to be talking about uh, excerpt from my book, The Extraordinary True Life's Experiences Book of Source, Vibrations, God Within. Okay, this is about the segments uh, 18th. It's about Book of Source, Vibrations, God Within. About a dying bird that was... Listen, guys. This is about a dying bird that was hit hard and my beauty hit hard with the speeding car and my beautiful spirit never made agreement to what ifs and buts from dying to living wow can i read it can i read it in my book i have this incidents that was so alive and i'm able to bring back a dying bird that was hit hard with the speeding car and I heard it so loud when it hit hard while me and my boy then hit were waiting for a ride and we both sitting near the mailbox. Okay, I'm reading it closer guys. Okay, so, um, a mail, mailbox in the house and I was talking to my sister overseas in Philippines, Miss Ayla. The moment I heard it and so, and the moment I where I am now. The moment I heard it and saw heat, then I told heat to see what happened because I am trying to get off the phone with my sister, Miss Ayla. Okay? Then heat quickly saw lots of birds around it and he told me, Mom, the bird is dead. I said, my, my thoughts quickly said, I said, no. The moment I heard that, my emotions of saving and helping and not making agreement just automatically fired up in my heart's thoughts in my heart's brain and feelings as oneness and i quickly ran to where the bird was lying unconscious and surrounded with a family of those birds and trying to comfort the almost dead bird on the street for me okay but I was very strong in my faith that looking at the situation of these families of birds surrounded by like the mourners, okay, I am feeling all them inside of me as one within that kindness and compassionate that I can be of big help. You see, you see that I love, my love and my joy kicking up right away. It's the instant compassionate heart that I am. So I can be a big help and I have to do something. I knew inside quickly whatever it is and I did not waste any time to pick up the dying bird from the middle of the street and I held it in my warm hands with my two hands, okay, um, and whispered to the bird that it is not your time to go yet. You are so loved by your families, I said, with all percent not making the agreement to what may seem outside reality. So I have this all feelings, confidence that the bird is not, it's time yet to die because it's needed by the family. I can see all those families surrounded like a morning sad and crying for this little one. I thought it's the mother, but it's a little bird. You imagine that? This is really meant to be that I have to experience this. So listen, listen, beloveds, listen, dear ones. So with my warm and whisper to the bird, I whispered to the bird like it is a real baby for me. It is not your time to go yet. So you are so loved by your families. And I said with all percent not making agreement to what may seem outside reality. I am so confidently, lovingly knowing that it is not it's time yet because I am speaking the words of conviction, of love, joy, peace. There is no fear. There is no such doubts or anything, but I'm just speaking like I'm in heaven. I'm speaking on the power of God, if I may say. So I have to, uh, and then uh, I have to go inwardly as my beautiful spirit of doing something good and quickly save the bird. I put the bird in the corner of the the tree and I was touching it so lovely with all love joy and pleasantness within me and the bird was breathing hollow already very uh, like a like it's in the last breath but for me I never fear I'm surprised myself because I am this like I am the co-creator like 
No, it's not your time. I am happy seeing it. I put joy. I put beauty in the mind of that little bird, that little animals. I'm speaking heartily. I'm speaking everything. I don't care if it's animal or boy, whatever in their insects. I just love the momentum that God gave me. Right away, I have these beautiful insights. My intuition speaks to me right straight in my heart. And my thought, and then I put the bird in the corner, right? And then I, I was speaking already. My mindset it was just so beautiful. It's so quickly, quickly said with assurance, it is not your time yet. And you have to fight my, uh, you, have to f you have to fight as I am fighting for you. This is what I said to the bird. You have to fight as I am fighting for you. You hear me? He said. Then I, then my thought of giving mouth to mouth resuscitation so the bird can breathe okay I, i'd love to help i love to help this is how it happens like oh i just put that in there like i put then i tried to pick up the bird all the legs already are so hard stuck to the body because it was hit hard with that speeding car you can imagine right hit hard like that and it's not not breathing now it's like in the last breath but I'm so powerfully, um, my God, this is, I loving myself because I am so powerful speaking of the words of conviction that it is not your time yet. I love to give you, like, it's not your time. So quickly, my mindset, my intuition, my, my, my beautiful mind told me to do a mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. You know how it is, the, the bird is like that, that the mouth, it can poke you, right? But I didn't think of that. I tried to open it, I go like that. And my boy said, Mom, what are you doing? And he's looking around like, He's someone looking at me. Maybe they think I'm crazy or something because he's a shy boy. I said, Nak, listen, leave it to me. I know what I'm doing. So that's what I told him specifically with all the loving kindness and compassionate and everything that I am. My God, it's so glorious things. And then I opened it. I first time tried a mouth to mouth resuscitation it put me here i said oh this is not the right way so i found ways to get in the the breath of that bird it's like like that i said oh if i put my breath i know i can 100 percent all percent i can get this alive so i put in like that take my breath take my breath this is god's breath this is god's breath and you'll be all right you're all okay you're all okay you're in the good hands right now so i did that many times and then after that i put it in my hands and slowly i can open the the the, the legs that was stuck there that is almost uh if you try to bend it it's like gonna crack and take it off like a break okay but slowly then the, and then the breathing is like putting it back like oh my god it's so powerful to watch it from dying to living the bird and it is written here in my book i have so much in this encounter guys this is that i'm loving the co-creator of myself the source in me god in me jesus in me you name it all that loving entities my ancestorian my akasha record they're all one in me of doing this because they know me already they know me that i can draw this upon inside when i go inside so then i i slowly get it and then put it uh, i went and uh, sit down i have a picture on that sit down on my um the thing from the door when you open the units the building okay i was sitting there and i continuously lovingly smoothly touching it that it's not your time you're gonna be alive and back to normal and nothing 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 really happens it's like something that nothing happens and my boy was surprised looking at it and then it just stand up stand up with the two legs that was folded hard because it was hit hard in that speeding car oh my god forgive that driver because he doesn't know also that he can hit hard the little animals so i am an animal whisperer i mean i know all these things so 
I put it in my hands and I just rub it like that. I'm doing, oh, you're so beautiful. I love you. I love you. I keep saying I love you. I don't know how many, 10 times, 100 times. I love you and all that touch. And I know they're all watching me, the divine intelligence, the divine matrix, the divine matrix God that I'm so happy that they're helping me because this is my intent focus that this bird from dying to living because it is not the time yet because the family needs it you know and then while waiting uh, funny because our our pickup didn't arrive so it gave me this time so it was really meant to be to connect with the spirit to spirit you know it's like a talk in spirit that's my podcast um and then after that, I said, I told my boy, can you take a picture of me with this one? Took a picture like that, putting in my face and so happy. And then all of a sudden, and my boy said, mom, how about me? I like to take a picture. And the moment he, he came in, the bird just flew on top of me in the, the branch, on top of me, just there and sitting there and looking down on us. How beautiful that to have that connection, guys. Amen. Yes, this is how beauty my mind is. I never make agreement to what ifs and buts. Even that bird is dying, it's ready to die. But if my thoughts of beauty and of God never make agreement, everything is done deal with my angels. It's like the universe are ready. It's in my command, all of them. All of them, I can feel them. I can feel them inside of me. I am lifting my heart to the divine matrix of who I am. So alive, God. I know God is so happy for seeing me, how I co-creating with him. How I co-create my, my joyful pleasantness, gladness, and so joyful that that was, I think, 2017. Even if you interview me upside down, that will still come out and it is written here. Extraordinary, true life experiences. So I'm wrapping up. This is the joy. Now I'm raising my vibrations. I can easily raise my vibrations because I have so much joy. I am overflowing of joy and love. Pleasantness, God, because this is God's heart. This is God's body. I am mirroring all of you guys as one within me. I am you and you is me. I, I see you. I see me. So, you know, you have to know how to see your brother and sisters as a holy instant. This is how salvation you can have easy salvation when you forgive, when you forgive yourself first and forgive others. And please don't hold any grudge on everything because you could never attain that nirvana or uh, the, uh, the Kabbalah practices and all that, whatever. Because, you know, all these things that's in my book, by the way, it is a pure consciousness of God's energies. I become that the highest love, joy, peace, consciousness. And I am in this state that I can see everyone in the mind of God. I did never separate myself. I don't care if you're a president. I don't care who you are. I see you as the mind. I see you, God, in me. I see myself in you. There is no separation because we are all made as one in the image of God. Wrapping up. Okay, then I can post this one. It's about the bird that is dying to living. That is in segment uh, 18th on my book of Extraordinary True Lives, Experiences, Book of Source Vibrations, God Within. In your authentic author, it's Christina Joy, Love Joy, at your service. I can speak a lot in here. I have so much experience with the source of energy. When Donald Waltz is talking about conversation to God, that he was angry about that in the beginning, me, I never experienced or just angry. I don't make angry. I don't make sad or fears on something. Everything is downloaded as a beauty in my mind. That's why... I probably that's why I am advanced in this spirituality because my whole cellular cells can heal everyone even if I just looking at you if you need my help say it with all your heart if you want say my name Christina Joy Lovejoy you will see how God be 
in you too because I have been given this God-given gift as a power of who I am because I am connected to the wholeness of the universe as one. That's why I'm bringing this story to make a big impact to the world because this is not even... Um, uh, my beautiful mind is just beyond description, beyond words, because it is all God's energies through me, act as an instrument of that love, joy, peace. Because God is only pure love. Pure love. Regardless of race, religion, colors, and everything, we are pure love. If you know how to vibrate this into a higher all realms of possibilities, you become that. You become that. I am this consciousness that I can go beyond any minds. I can go consciously, mindful, and aware. Others, when they do like a trance or something, they do it like they close their eyes. I can close my eyes, but I am still consciously know everything. This is how beauty. I love the portraits of life. Everything you need to know about life, I'll be coming soon. I just have to share my beautiful, true life story of God's energies through me. Remember, Nivelle Goddard, I wasn't born yet, but... I love his teaching because I resonate well on that. That you can only feel God through, you have to be filtered in. And then feeling is the key because my feeling is beautiful. My feeling, I am so beautiful in my mind, beautiful in my warrior, courageous heart, and my beautiful soul. They all merge in that, the oneness of God. Thank you. I love you guys. Blessings to the whole world. It's Christina Joy. Love Joy. Love you. Mwah.